Hello everyone, long time no see, I'm Drumat and today we're going to do a Talia mid video and guide in solo queue somewhere around master tier. We're going to be uh, against the Rek'Sai Silas, which will be a deadly combination that will try to gank me. We're going to play Talia with a rather different build and we're going to try to get as far as we can. So if they invade through that part, it's going to be odd. So I'm just gonna stick around here somewhere. I wanna see that part of the map. Anyway, I'm playing. I'm playing Talia Meat with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Time Warp Tonic, Futures Market, and these rune stats. Okay, Costly. Yeah, we could have fought that. Could have definitely fought that. So this is going to be a very different build with features markets and in time warp tonic. So we're going to see. I'm also going probably for Everfrost because Rek'Sai and Silas, and they kind of ruined Shaco's Shaco's start, but we did get some poke down. So basically, I play with Dark Harvest and Corrupting. Uh, because they stack nicely together because you want to fight a lot and all I have to do is to be careful early on to the level 3 gank from the from the Rek'Sai which will inevitably happen and so we have ignite on both mid and jungle they don't have on either and I dodged that nicely and we want here to power push this in right now one more okay good now we can just do an E here. Now the main problem with this uh, build or setup, early setup, is that in team fights you're not going to have that much um, mana regen from Prince of Mind because you don't have it, obviously. So it's going to be tricky. Now I'm going to work exactly here, and I'm going to expect the gang from the top side. Uh, so I'm going to stick towards the bottom side of this part, and now I'm going to let him push it in because I don't really have to. Don't really have to be aggressive. I see Shaco, I see where he is. I can stay on the bottom side, I have time to flash. So this is something that we want. Okay, I also have my W now. And we keep an eye onto that bottom side of the map. You see, we see you see that I let them push. We don't rush. And this is going to be problematic. Okay, Vayne got Vayne got the gin. And now we have a battle between supports here. See me winning. Nice. So I, I got to a good point. This guy will be ganked 100%. I got to a good point here because I will not be in any trouble. Okay, we also got that. And we also got the cannon, even though I broke my entire even though I broke my entire jungle. Okay, we see now that Rek'Sai is coming here, likely, so we wait in this beautiful bush, and okay. Okay, we have a flash, we have a flash from the Rek'Sai, if I recall correctly, or not, oh, we are fighting, he's fighting, why are you, why are you going there, what? What? He was there. You knew he was there. Why why did you do that? I don't think he flashed there. I don't recall. I was just scared about it, but Vayne hinted hard, man. We just kicked out Rek'Sai of that place. You think he just leave you let you live? So we can back off here. We can push this in. Silas teleported. We got early advantage on the guy, but. I need to recall, and this is a good spot to recall, even though I'm behind this is because uh, it will take him a while to push this into my tower, and it's very hard on mid lane to freeze, so we don't mind that, so I can just go for this, and I really dislike that fight, man, because we got advantage and then Vayne just into it. On top, though, on top we win. I'm behind in CS, uh, that's normal, though, in, because he has teleport. I'm just, I'm just not enjoying the fact that you put a kill on Rek'Sai for absolutely no reason. I don't know where did he uh, and 
still have flash. So I'm gonna do a full combo onto this. I'm gonna get that. I did proc Dark Harvest once there, so it was fine. <sighs> and the CS gap is normal. The CS gap is normal, and now we can go there. Obviously, we can go there because Volibear is full HP, and he can just push it in. Man, that help. Man, that help on Shaco is insane. At least we win there onto that side. And I see Rek'Sai. I see Rek'Sai there. So we don't we don't rush on anything. We just don't rush on anything. We just stick around here. We don't need to We don't need to do anything stupid. And this is how you play, even though I'm 20 CS or so behind, the experience is what matters. So if I don't die here, I get the whole wave, I'm fine. But I still have the ignite pressure, I still have good timings, I'm, I'm fine with it. And I still lose CS like I'm not supposed to. Okay, so we lost Drake, that's normal. I got the cannon, and I got the whole wave. 20 CS behind, mainly because of a bad recall. That wouldn't have been that bad if Vayne wouldn't hit though. And I want to be behind and Lucius and not die. Strictly, strictly because Rek'Sai at some point will be very, very weak. And so if I don't int early, if I manage to do that to survive here, it's going to be just fine. Okay, okay that's a very bad dive from them. That's an awfully bad dive from them. Get the Lolo. Okay. So that was a great, great gank. Top is also winning. Thank you, Yumi, for the heals. And I might need Shaco here. Nah, it's he backed off. So, because top is winning, we have the luxury. That was a poor dive by Rex. We have the luxury of chilling around a bit. This guy will want to probably all in on me, but he doesn't have he doesn't have yet the damage. So, I wanted to try to break that. So, as we can see, we did already a good roam. Played early on strong against the. Okay, thank you for the Dark Harvest stack. Really, thank you for that. This guy is annoying. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, come, come. It's fine, it's fine. We back off. We back off. Stay. Just make that pop. Oh no. I'm gonna need help with this dive, man. Okay, I lost a lot of CS, but. We're fine. If Shaco doesn't int randomly, we're fine. Okay, I'm just gonna recall. Care. Back. Okay, this was fine, even though we lose CS. Again, the strategy stands. The strategy that we talked about stands. And you can see here how it's coming in that, uh, the, the features market. You can see it nicely coming in. Even though I'm behind, the CS gap doesn't matter. The important part is to get the scalings on Dark Harvest, on Shaco, on me, onto the vein kills, and we also have favorable matchup on the top side. So we're good, really. We can do a full combo here, and I do have ult. No need to rush, no need to force stuff. I do have flash, and I can push this in. I do have also ult. I can go there to help. If he doesn't.
doesn't win, but he wins very hard. So I'm back to mid. The, the Camille is a bit pissed. Understandable. I'm gonna put the vision work here, a normal work here. Gonna clear this. Rex, I might come. I got W, got flash. I'm fine. 30 CS behind, but even in level with slight, slight itemization. Uh, maybe even advantage, but I'm, nah, it's not advantage. It's even in items as well, sort of. Close enough. Alright, so we're good, we're good. We just keep pushing, we're doing even stuff. He's going to take that because Shaco is on the other side. I don't mind. I'm gonna hit the Q. Doesn't matter. Now, if top lane would have lost, if Oliver would have been in the other team, we would have had a harder time strictly because of the scaling problem uh, until until Camille would scale a bit, but I don't think we have a problem with it right now. We can kill him. If Shaco would play around me, this would be quite free. Okay. Okay, we both ignited. We both ignited, but as you can see how simple it is, how simple it is to get the kill on him. And now that the Rek'Sai didn't do anything early, they really have no way of winning this. They really don't have any way of winning this. Rek'Sai cannot even 1 versus 1 me. And I can even... Oh. I'm out. I don't have mana, that's the main problem of this build. Because you don't have mana. Okay, and yeah, we got that going. Shaco gonna ult, and we got another kill. Yep, help, 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 push. Anyone? No? No? Okay, I'm just gonna do a full queue here. I don't care, as you can see, I don't care that much about CS, because I know I CS like trash. I care only about the map logistics, the not inting early on. The map goes exactly as we would want to go, not inting the Rek'Sai side early. Even though we lost the advantage early on, even though that. Need 100 gold for this. As you can see, I'm clicking here onto the item. I'm clicking when I have it like this. Because the uh, gold calculation is based on futures market, and so it tells you how much gold you need to be to have, like 250, to be close to this 400 value, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I can also probably one versus one once I get over frost. Probably one versus one, the guy. But you can, you need to be much more careful with the mana. That's the only thing. And the time warp tonic was useful and is useful against the Silas and the, well, his burst, so to say. He doesn't have any useful ults from me or Shaco. Well, Shaco's ult, but that's kind of garbage if you're not suicidal. And now we have level advantage. I can go top. I'm not gonna word it here. Ah, I'm not going to our top. I'm not going to our sub. No, no, no. Come. Come here. So now if Rex gangs bot, there's no chance for their gene to do anything. And we also had the Silas teleport. This guy gave up. And what was that man? Now we have already a Rex gang here, another one. And that was very suicidalish. Back, 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 back. Now, I think Rek'Sai is here, yep. What? Ah, yes. Haha! <laughs> yes! Exactly! <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why we calculate the time warp tonic. Ah, it's fine. So, he used Prowlers, I used Flash and Ignite, but it's it doesn't matter. That gank was expected, my death was expected. 
the death of Rex I wasn't expecting. He tried to 100 0 me, he did polars through my E. If I had Everfrost, maybe I could have reacted in time, and next ganks wouldn't be so bad because I can just Everfrost and I would leave. So, while the game went well on top, I think we would have chances even if we would swap top planers, strictly because how well we played on the jungle bot matchups. Because we did play great there. I, we zoned zero kill participation on the Silas. Basically, he's not in the game at all. Even though he just power farmed, we still got advantage by that. So, I, I have to stick on this. Okay, I'm gonna put a word here. I'm gonna put a vision word there. And I have to go towards this side. Because we need to be where my team is. And if they come as a four unit. Okay, this is this is a good. Holy moly! No, 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 no! Heal me! Holy engage, brother! I think Silas went AFK. Looks like it. Holy, that was beautiful. So much setup, so much setup there. I. It seems like I have the worst score, but if you press tab and look at it. My top, my mid laner is the same as their top laner with zero kill participation. So I did my part in not inting the Rek'Sai Silas combo, which could have been a problem. I'm gonna be dead here, am I not? I hate, I hate Camille. I hate that champion. I hate that. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Again, it doesn't matter. Oh boy. You just have to run and you're done. Now back off. 